Hey, welcome back. I'm Jason Hardy with Elite Barbecue Smokers. The recipe I'm share with you today is beer cheese smash burgers. I'm going to show you how we make the beer cheese, how we do the smash burgers on the Rectech 380 using the cast iron uh, flat top it's got, and we're going to cook it all up. So it's going to be fun. So let's get to prepping so we get to cooking. That's how you do it, Elite Barbecue Smoker style. So while we're waiting on Rectech 380 here to get up the temperature at 450 degrees, we're going to start making our beer cheese. We've got a cast iron skillet here. So I'm gonna come in here, I'm gonna add about three tablespoons of just some butter. So I'm gonna take this and kinda of just let it start melting around. While that's melting right here, we're gonna get our flour we've got here. We got three tablespoons of flour. I'm gonna start dusting in my flour. So now I'm gonna add in my Worcestershire sauce. I'll add about a good half a cup of milk to start with. We can always add more for consistency. I'm just kinda of do it in layers. Now I'm going to come right here, I'm going to add in some Dijon spicy brown mustard to it. Now I'm going to mix that mustard all in around it. Now I'm going to come in here, I'm going to add my beer. And you can add the amount you want to for flavor. Now I'm going to add some more seasoning to it. I'm going to use the Judge uh, garlic pepper rub. I'm going to use a little bit of Rufus Teak steak seasoning to it. Dude, we're starting to bubble a little bit. Let's take a cheese here. And you can use different kind of cheeses you want to. I like it with a mild cheddar, sharp cheddar cheese. And what I'm looking for now when I start adding it, I'm adding the amount of cheese I want to to get the consistency I'm looking for, that creamy, gooey cheese. That's what we're kind of looking for in the amount of cheese. I'm looking for color. You see it right now, it's more of a white, kind of like a white gravy. We're gonna turn it yellow, gold yellow, for the cheese in the oven. See the color starting to change a little bit now. It's starting to get a little more, and it's definitely getting thicker. All right, I'm gonna take this, turn the heat off of this, let this kind of calm down a little while, and we start making the burgers. We would like to thank today's sponsor, and that's Lewis Home Services. If you're interested in coming to the Myrtle Beach Grand Strand area and you're looking for someone to take care of all your vacation needs, check out Lewis Home Services. Contact information down below, and they're looking forward to hearing from you. All right, so what we got here, now we're gonna start making our burgers here. This is a 80-20 hamburger we got from the grocery store. This is about a pound and a half. I'm gonna try to make some of these, make some good third size burgers. So we'll take it out. What I'm looking for is a good fifth size. Now I'm gonna take these right here, Kind of mash them a little bit, and that kind of look, little balls. And they ain't got to be exact size, they can vary. So now I'm gonna start putting my seasoning on. And the seasoning we use today, like I said, Rooster Teak Steak Rub and a Judge Garlic Pepper Rub. It's great rubs, combination. Roll them over, get the sides of them, flip them over, flip them over. Oh, let's get, we got a little bit left on the countertop. Kind of work it in. Don't waste it, you know. Can't waste it. Now I got my burgers right here. Now, I'm gonna take my thumb right here. I'm gonna kind of thumb and fold them over a little bit, so I get that seasoning down into them. Push my thumb in there and just kind of roll them in. All right, now so red tape three eighty flat top is at a temperature four hundred fifty degrees. I'm gonna put these bad boys on there. We'll start grilling them. I've got my little white press right here. I got a piece of tinfoil on top of it. Kind of use it to press them down. So I got some of these Artisans bakery buns. You got from a little grocery store. Um, you can use any kind of bun you want to. I've done it with pretzel buns. They're really good with pretzel buns. I'm gonna turn my cheese back on here. Kind of get it back, kind of make a little bit melt in a little bit. Let's see where we at. We're still good. So I'm gonna take my buns where I've got right now. I'm gonna sort of put them on here real quick and let them kind of just toast up a little bit. When I take my spatula and I push down here and see just a little bit of paint. The 125 there, 124 I mean. So I'm gonna take my hamburgers, I'm gonna pull them here to the side, and we'll start putting some beer cheese on them. I'm going to be very liberal with this because I want to get all that juicy gooeyness all over these things. Take it right here. Put it right on top of the bun right here. Put my bun on top of that. 
These got such a great flavor to them, I don't add nothing else to it. All I'm doing to add is just this right here. So that's what we got right here. So we're gonna take this right here number, let them cool down a little while so we can eat them, about another five minutes, clean all this mess up, take some pictures, then we're gonna do a taste test. So we'll be right back. So we're getting ready to slice these bad boys up and see what it tastes like. Are y'all ready? I'm ready. Let's see what it tastes like. Take this one right here. Come right here. Take it right down the middle of it and slice it. Look at that right there. Don't that look pretty? Look at that. Kind of a medium, a little bit of pink, but not much in this one. You can see the, you can see it right. You can see the moisture and just pour right out of it. I'm ready to taste this bad boy and see what it tastes like. Y'all ready? Man, I'm about to die for it. I'm really ready. Let's see what it tastes like. <laughs> that's awesome. Man, that's good. I get another bite. Man, that's good. That's just really knock it out of the park flavor. You cannot beat that. But listen, this is a very simple recipe. I mean, you see me cook it. A hamburger is very simple. It's two ingredients, rubs, and put it on a flat top and cook it. Beer cheese, very simple recipe, but it got a ton of flavor to it. Give this recipe a try. I'm sure you're promising you won't be sorry for it, because it's a really good, simple recipe, and it'll make everybody in the neighborhood just go wow. Now we gotta let Dolly try it. And you ought to see her, she's sitting here just drooling. She's begging for this one here. We'll let Dolly try it. You got a nice beer cheese. So Dolly, here's what you got. You got a hamburger, you got beer cheese on it, you got toasted buns. This is phenomenal here. Now, are you ready for this? Are you sure? Now, if you're not ready, I'm gonna eat it. So you better let me know. All right, come on, come on. All right, sit down, you ready? Get it. <laughs> Dolly liked it. I reckon Dolly liked it, so will you. If you like our video, hit the subscribe button and turn the notification bell on. Don't forget to follow us on social media, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok. That being stated, let's say the blessing. Let's go inside and eat supper. Lord, bless food by receiving. Jesus, now I pray. Amen. Dang. Show this is good. This is really, really good. You want to try one? Mm-mm-mm.